And now it is it is time to get you informed with what the hell been going on this week. And it's been quite a week. It's been a long week, ladies and gentlemen. But we love to get you in the know by one person, one person only, the one and only Miss Milan. Hello, ma'am. Hello, that's me. I'm here to get you in the know with today's news. I'm going to make sure you're informed on what's going on in your government. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. All right. It sounds like my history teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. And just, just so y'all know, this message is always sponsored by Miss Milan Jewelry, where there's $5 jewelry, nickel and lead free, kids jewelry $1, and men's jewelry $5 as well. Check out my website at www.missmilanjewelry.com. Dot com, dot com, dot com. Yes. Well, this week we got some interesting news. Um, so Trump has stated that he wanted to try to open the country back up by Easter. So, yeah. So we went from July to Easter. I mean, we got to go to church. Ain't this? Yeah, he said he wanted the churches to be packed. Actually, mm. that's that's oh, okay. that's what he said here on CNN. Bump CDC. <laughs> yeah, he didn't really specify that we were going to be clear. <laughs> he just said he wanted churches to be packed. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Well. Mm-hmm. The healthcare workers are speaking out in regards to this matter. They are stating that it has been a chaotic scene in the emergency rooms and they are quickly running out of supplies. Mm-hmm. As we r- reported last week, mm-hmm. they are quickly running out of supplies. So why would you assume that all, well, Easter, Easter would be the time frame that we're going to open Jesus is going to come back and save us. That could be yeah, actually you know, what, what he, he would prefer. He's just like, oh, let me uh, touch my black listeners and say Easter, <laughs> so let's... Uh, Go ahead and lice all your banana suits. Resurrect those that have already passed. <laughs> and and yeah. Jesus. It's, it's just crazy. Like I feel like he's really not paying attention to the numbers, but I also feel like he has no clue what he's talking about. Yeah. They literally just throw him out there, yep. and then after he talks, they come back in and clean it up. But Y'all ever noticed that on his press clue. conferences? Yep. It'd be so funny because it seemed like he just like... Uh, like he just found out before he came out there. Yeah. So it's like he, he sounded like a regular like teenager talking. Exactly. <laughs> like making up stuff. He's <laughs> like, yeah, man, it's just so cool how, you know, the scientists we have here <laughs> that I pay, you know, very well. America tax dollars. We have great people Figure out this us. stuff. It's almost like magic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he always calls stuff magic. <laughs> no, and then you have magic. someone come right after him and say, what he's trying to say is. <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Everybody step in and say that. Like, in layman terms. <laughs> <laughs> no, but with, what's crazy is that had me think into perspective. Like, is he trying to hurry up and clean this up because he knows the election is coming up and he wants to look election like he's saving the day? Like, he saved us money. from this traumatic disease. And he's got it cleaned, and it only took so and so much time frame for him to get it done. Doesn't it seem like it's almost one of those save the day type of scenarios he want to throw out yeah, there? The, the whole thing, the disease and everything. Yeah. Everything feel like he's. But a he ain't saving yeah. nothing. No. Like even Not the Chinese all. are just like, hey, this is serious. Italy, this is serious. America, oh yeah, yeah, we're good. We're gonna celebrate you, sir. Yeah. Like, what? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. My mama cooking that day. We got it. We got to go. Gotta We're go. Americans, so we can't. <laughs> we'll resume after Easter. <laughs> after we cut the ham. Well, in other news, everyone's been asking about these stimulus checks. So, oh yeah, where my money of, at? <laughs> as of this morning, um, the White House and the Senate has reached a two trillion dollar deal for our stimulus packages. Which is fairly, fairly, well, according to CNN as well, this is the highest bailout that they have ever seen. Ain't we in debt, though? That's <laughs> what I thought. And I, you know, these... They just printed more money. Do you know how these numbers just, just <laughs> two trillion dollars, like you just pulled it out the bank? I feel like they pull a, a black person move. <laughs> Yeah. Like, you know how you ask somebody for a dollar and they say, nah, ain't got, I ain't money. got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've been pulling, yo. <laughs> yeah, like they've been playing us. Like, was, where, where is this $2 trillion? It's so much stuff you could have did. Exactly. I mean, gladly, glad we, the money it sh- supposedly is available right now. But there was. I believe when I get it in my. Flint uh, ceiling had no water. Yeah, you right. had schools that don't have air conditioned heat, right. books. Homeless and people. y'all homeless. talking about we just gonna pull two trillion out right now, right. like y'all could have been doing this to help us. So That's disrespectful. So I just I don't know. It's crazy, but what they're saying is they have allotted two hundred and fifty billion to set aside for direct payments to couples and individuals and children. Hmm. 
um, $350 billion have been set aside for small business loans. And to, uh, to another 250 have been set aside, billion have been set aside for unemployment insurance benefits. And 500 billion for loans for distressed companies. Notice they said loans. Mm. Yeah. Right? So they want that back. I found out that uh, actually through a friend of mine, she's a real estate agent. And some of the real estate agents are now getting laid off because some real estate agents, uh, I guess, specify in, I guess, is what, home renovations, something like that, or they renovate these properties. But with this virus going around, who's going to want to go up in the house? Yeah. And yeah. they don't see no use for them, so they just, they laying them off. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's yeah, real. Yeah, that, that is extreme, but... You mean like so? Do you mean like the people that are actually buying them, fixing them up, and then reselling them? Those mm-hmm. leases. Yeah. So then they still have kind of like a plan, I guess. They still have something to fall back on because they're they're building investment properties. Yeah, but I don't know. Mm. Yeah, but if you work for a real estate company, you want to keep a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would think so. You want to keep it in house. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's kind of you know because you, 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 you're comfortable with working for somebody, you know. Right. Yeah, it's it's sad, especially w- they thrive on a good economy. A real estate agent would, just like mm-hmm. the stock market, and all of those people who thrive off the way our economy is going. It's yeah. kind of sad that right now, I mean, it's looking horrible. Yeah. Yes. And then we get the fake reports every other day of when this may be over. When nobody has there even been a report or how long this virus is supposed to last? Do we even know how long it lasts if no. someone catches it's a it? New guess. Two weeks. Every day. Two weeks. You said two weeks. Is the quarantine time? That's not necessarily the time that well, the virus. Everybody that I've, we have witnessed that had it have gotten well in two weeks. Yeah. Even from athletes to celebrities to uh, social influencers that I follow, everybody's been like a two week period. Mm-hmm. See, that's what they were throwing out as far as quarantine. Say, I didn't know if that was the actual recovery if, time. If you guys go back to some of our old episodes, Milan brought this up, and they had a, people they were paying people to oh, get yeah. the disease. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Five so grand. think about that. We could have yeah, paid two weeks ago five grand to get it. When now we're going to get it for free. <laughs> we could have paid five. We could have paid five G's and already got it. I was thinking about that. And we'd have, really we'd have been like, over it too. I'm sure. You I know what? Signed up. Y'all are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not go sign up and do that. <laughs> now we're going to get it anyway, and we ain't paid. We ain't get paid nothing. Exactly. Yeah. I could have got five G's and the stimulus. <laughs> right. I would have been seven oh, G's yeah, up. That's true. Corona on a discount. That's true. I didn't even think you about that. Yeah. Man, that that is kind of come up when you think about it when you say it like that. Yeah, so now we're going to look dumb. Now we're gonna be like, damn. No, we're going to look healthy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right? what, <you're> <laughs> what you mean? I'm just saying, if everybody would Our like, get account would have looked real healthy. <laughs> <laughs> that is well, but yeah. I just, I think I, I really care. Live the same. Yeah, exactly. I live, I live in <laughs> Ain't no guarantees. I live in the East End, man. I live in the, the lower income part of town, to middle bracket people. And the thing about the stimulus check is, I. A lot of people need it, but it's gonna be a lot of people in Walmart buying TVs. Mm-hmm. People yeah. gonna blow up. You know what I'm saying? Like, people like, just not responsible, so yeah. <laughs> Amazon <people>. priming. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't paying no bills with that money. You know what I'm saying? Well, just, I mean, as we talked about last time, you just gotta be smart. If you know you're not paying your bills, then you might wanna put something on it, especially the check that they send you for free. <laughs> I don't know. It's just crazy. But they did put a clause in there that nobody and no top officials or no anybody working for Trump or his family members could could be able to get this type of uh, benefit. I hope not because they've still been benefiting since. Exactly. But you know, he's so crooked. They giving out business yeah. loans and all of that. Mm-hmm. He probably would have figured out a way around that. Yeah. But um, last news I have is we're just gonna say congratulations, congratulations. I can't get it out to congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> to Kevin Hart and his wife Aniko. They are expecting their second baby together. So congratulations, Fourteen babies. All right. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yes. Hey. So that's all I got for you guys today. Bang bang buggy. Word. Thank you so much for watching our video. Now, if you don't mind, can you do us? One more favor, hit that subscribe button and also tap that bell notification. That way you're alerted about all of our live content, our live episodes, behind the scenes information, also live interviews with some of your favorite guests, and plus many more right here on Blacktop TV. Also, if you need more information about the show, follow us on Instagram, the Blacktop. That's D-A-B-L-A-C-K-T-O-P, and you know me. Ha! I'm a poet, ain't he know it? I rhyme all the time, and that's about it.